This program was proudly brought to you by Celebrations. Any excuse for a celebration. And good year. National Nine News Break. Brought to you by ANZ Home Loans. Good evening, I'm Tony Jones in the National Nine Newsroom. The Australian cricketers are tonight celebrating after wrapping up the third test in Perth and in doing so retain the Ashes. The tourists were dismissed for 223 in their second innings, handing Australia victory by an innings and 48 runs. Got him. Knocked him over the full pitch. Damien Martin was named man of the match. And on the Sunshine Coast, the Australian PGA Championship finished with joint winners. Peter Lonard and Jared Mosley halved the first playoff hole, then in fading light, agreed to share the spoils instead of returning tomorrow. In other news today, the Prime Minister has floated the idea of tax cuts, despite an economy under strain from drought and the war against terror. He says taxpayers should reap the benefit of any money left over from the budget surplus. When you have a low level of government debt, and you have a surplus, there comes a, a time when uh, people might want some of the surplus re returned by way of uh, general or specific tax cuts. Meanwhile, Labor's landslide win in the Victorian state election could have federal implications. Premier Steve Brax returned to power with a massive 8% swing. The historic victory coincided with another political milestone. Gough Whitlam honoured on the 30th anniversary of his election as Prime Minister, the occasion also marking 60 years of marriage to Margaret. My 25 years as member for Werra and three years as Prime Minister were just flashes compared to the long, warm glow of the other significant anniversary I celebrated this year. The United States has issued a warning about travel to East Africa, saying it's received new information terrorist attacks similar to those in Kenya could be repeated. It came as mourners gathered at the Chard Hotel site in Mombasa for an emotional memorial service. Now for a quick look at the national weather for tomorrow and around the nation, showers in Adelaide, Brisbane and Darwin, fine in Hobart, Melbourne, Perth and Sydney, dry in Canberra. That's the latest from the National Nine Newsroom. Good night.